Hey guys, Mist here again for another video today, and we are back with a new type of video. We are going to be doing something uh, where we will see which AA, or IIHF team between Canada and Sweden will win the gold medal that is happening tonight. The gold medal game is tonight, if you guys did not know that. Hopefully the video will be up before then, but uh, it's 6 o'clock, the game starts in 2 hours. Uh, it's it's 5 Eastern time where I am at right now, technically 4.58 Eastern time right now. So uh, I just wanted to show you guys the teams really quickly. So I made both the teams. Uh, they both are very poor overall wise, I'm not going to lie. So the first one, obviously we've got the Canada IIHF. So they have Victor Mete, Alex Fermentin, and Jake Bean as their best players. Then for Sweden, they have Rasmus Dahlin, Alex Nylander, and Elias Pettersson as their top three players. So Sweden's team is definitely better on paper. Well, definitely better just looking at the top three or their three best players. But uh, in general, their team isn't as great. I think it's the goalie, goalie tandem that they have that isn't as good. That's for sure. We will see. Uh, we'll see how that goes though. So we're gonna go to. A playoff mode. This is the first time I have been in playoff mode this year, so trying something new. We're gonna do two teams. We're gonna do a single knockout. Period. Uh, they don't really matter. Uh, continuous OT. Yeah, that is fine. Because uh, we will just sim it. So we will have. Uh, well, I guess since we are in Buffalo, it's closest to Canada. So I guess Canada is technically the home ice team. So we'll have uh, Sweden as the away team. Where's it? There we go. So we'll have Sweden there versus the uh, Canadian team, and we'll see how they see how this goes. It'll be an interesting sim. I am just gonna sim it, just by the way. So we'll start the playoff, and we'll see how this goes. I think we'll just slow sim all three periods. So uh, can I take a look at each player? I can. All right. So here we go. Looking at each team. So Team Canada. Let's sort it by forwards first. So we have uh, Alex Formentin, Taylor Radish, Brett Howden, Sam Steele, Boris Kachuk, uh, Jordan Kairou, Dylan Dubé, Tyler Steenbergen, Maxim Comtois, Drake Batherson, Jonah Gajevich, and Robert Thomas. So not a bad team, that's for sure. There, there's a lot of highly touted prospects on this team, that's for sure. Uh, their captain is Dylan Dubé right now. Uh, if I'm not mistaken, I believe it. I'm, you know, I know it's still in Dubé. Uh, checking out the defense for Team Canada, they have Victor Mete with Jake Bean, uh, Dante Fabro, who I did have to make, Kale Clegg, Cal Foot, Kale McCarr, who I also did make, and then they have Connor Timmins as their extra defender. Timmins will be the defender that is not in there. Although mainly it's been Kale McCarr who hasn't been playing. So uh, when I last created Kale McCarr for before my two franchise modes. Uh, started I had him at like a 74 overall offensive defenseman but since he's not even playing right now very much like he's been an extra defenseman uh, we're gonna have him at a much lower overall and then checking out the goalies we have uh, Carter Hart as the starter and Colton Point who I made uh, as well he's the backup for this team uh, now let's go check out the Sweden team so Sweden they have in net Philip Gustafsson uh, pretty decent, I guess. Uh, Ole Eriksson Ek, I had to create as well, so he will be the backup for Sweden. Checking out their forward core, they have Alex Nylander, uh, Elias Anderson, Elias Pettersson, uh, Frederick Karlstrom, uh, Isaac Lundstrom, or Lundestrom, I still don't know, too sure, or I'm still not 100% sure how to really pronounce that one. Uh, then we've got Oscar Steen, Linus Lindstrom, Marcus Davidson, uh, Axel Janssen. I believe it is pronounced Janssen, it's not Johnson. Uh, well, he goes by Janssen in the actual tournament. And then Tim Soderlund, Glenn Gustafson, uh, Fabian Zetterlund, and I believe an extra forward in Jasper Boakvist. Um, and then we also have an extra defenseman here uh, for Sweden as well. So defensively, they've got Rasmus Dahlin, obviously uh, projected first overall this year. And then Timothy Liljegren, Eric Brandstrom, uh, Gustav Lindstrom, Linus Hogberg, and Jacob Movear, 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 I don't know. I have no idea how to uh, <laughs> how to say his name. So we'll see how that goes. And then Jesper Selgren is the extra defenseman there. So that is uh, those are the teams. 
like I said, it is just a uh, one one or a single knockout series. So we'll see how this goes. We will sort by goals. We will times eight sim the entire thing. And on the power play early, Taylor Radish scores. Uh, very early into the first period. Now, the lines aren't the same as they are in the tournament, but I'm, I just, I don't know if I can actually edit the lines to make them the same, so I just, uh, I just didn't even bother with that. First period, um, a pretty even period though. Shots, uh, nine to six for Sweden as Canada is up one nothing heading into the second period. Is this what's gonna happen? Uh, it's just like Canada in real life though. They score basically every time on the power play. So now time for the second period to go. We will see how that goes. I mean, both starting goaltenders are pretty even. Alex Fermentin scores on Gustafsson again to or to give us the 2 nothing lead. I am Canadian, so that's why I said us. We have another power play. We cannot score on it though. Good penalty kill from Sweden. We have another power play as well. See, that's one thing that Sweden's really going to have to watch this game uh, in the finals because they need to make sure that they stay out of the box as much as they can because if we get the power play, we've, we've been pretty damn solid on the power play. We now have the lead in shots as well, so 17 to 15 for us. There we go. Canada looking like they may be able to win uh, win this game. It's power play though for Sweden. Let's see. They didn't score on it. They have another one though. There's still plenty of time left. Under 10 minutes to go and Jonah Gajevic scores to make it 3-0 for Team Canada. Alright, that's, uh, that's pretty interesting. Alex Nylander though ruins the shutout for Carter Hart. Jake Bean then scores and <laughs> to make a final score of 4-1. to one. Will this happen in real life? I don't know. Sweden outshot Canada 29-25. to 25. Shots were 4-1 to one for Canada. Let's go and check out the team. I didn't want to show you guys the celebration because it's actually the Stanley Cup celebration, so I'm not really going to show you that. Carter Hart with a 28 save performance with a 965 save percentage. That's basically how he's actually playing right now, so that's very interesting. Then Alex Formenta with a goal and an assist. Jake Bean with a goal and an assist as well, so very very interesting that's for sure will that happen or will that happen in this game who knows who knows and obviously anything can happen i'd like to see uh canada win but like i said anything could happen let's go and check out these stats really quickly so jake bean had two points uh, alongside Alex Fermentin, Taylor Radish, and Sam Steele. Sam Steele had two assists. Taylor Radish had a goal and assist alongside Jake Bean and Alex Fermentin. A goal for Gajevic, then Nylander with a goal. Uh, Jordan Kyrou with an assist on one of the goals for Canada. Then Branstrom and Anderson got the assist on the Nylander goal late in the third. Dubé, the only other player with a point. Very interesting. I love how uh, when your Nylander, Branstrom, and Anderson, or Branstrom and Anderson got the assist to Nylander's goal. Nylander was even, but Branstrom and Anderson were negatives. How does that work? I do not know. So, just a quick update on the American and Czech game right now for the bronze medal. Uh, we are not even halfway through the second period, and the U.S. just got a three nothing lead. I think off a goal from Brady to Chuck. Can't tell. I'm pretty sure that was Brady to Chuck who scored. But, uh, I mean, I guess that's it really, guys. So, uh, hopefully Team Canada wins tonight. We will see, that's for sure. Like I said, I'm, I think they definitely can. They've been looking pretty damn good. Uh, hopefully we can see Canada bring home a gold medal tonight. Thank you guys so much for watching. Hopefully you all did enjoy, and I'll see you in the next one. Goodbye.